Hey folks, Ariel over here, not at Fineth. This is a look back at a trip that a good friend and I took last September, early September of last year. And I had recorded a bunch of clips during the three-day trip, but um, never got around to putting them together. So I thought I'd throw them together and share this with you. This is the uh, No Tell em Trailhead up to a... Uh, not to be disclosed peak. Anyway, thought y'all might enjoy a look at a trip I did last year and I'm looking forward to more backpacking this year. I kind of forgot how when horses use a trail, they really do kind of tear it all to pieces. Slide across it, and there we go. It's indeed big. This slide is two years old now, but you can see all the mud and trees and debris brought across the valley. Okay, this is probably the biggest landslide I have ever personally walked across. Creeks flowing down through there. This is all the trees that come down. We are headed all the way across there, huh? nettle. Actually quite a few up the hill here. Some of these aren't even ripe yet. Like they're still getting ripe. Mm -hmm. No, there is. Yeah, there is. So here's the little waterfall. Just a little horsetail ribbon coming down through there. And over here, you can't really see it yet through the trees. Is the big one.
Okay, I don't know if the camera can hear me over the waterfall, but I am behind the falls. Beth is down there, just snapped some photos for me. Water's crashing down here. I'm standing on this bright green moss, which makes like a whole little cave. And there's the water coming off above me, and way, way higher than that. And I've got my raincoat on because it is pretty chilly in here, out of the sun, with all the spray. <laughs> Okay, now I've crawled the whole way through the little green cave. There's the water crashing down below me, and I can't see most of the waterfall. That's where I can see. So I came through behind there, over all that rock, up from where Beth is, and from out there in the sunshine where I'm going to have to go back and warm up. That's pretty spectacular. Okay, I'm back down along the little creek, drying out my very soaking wet raincoat from walking under there, and falling out in the one little sunspot that's here because I got pretty chilly crawling under there. I think it's 60 something degrees today, but you go under there, you're out of the sun. And you can see Beth is still taking some pictures up there. And there's the big waterfall. You can see that part now up above. I couldn't see any of that when I was under there. Pretty much from the bottom of the screen now on up, you could not see when I was underneath. And from right here, I can't see the actual bottom of the fall that I was looking at. So I'm a little bit chilly for a minute, but I'm sure I will get hot promptly because we have to basically hike up the hill that that waterfall is on. Not right there. We're going somewhere over there. There's a trail. But hike up there, and then we're going to camp above that tonight. does. So we are climbing up through the forest, kind of off to what would have been the right of the waterfall, which is somewhere over there right now. And we're headed up through here toward the last rays of sunlight.
That is definitely the peak we're planning to go up. Oh, wow. You see him? He's looking back at us. That is a huge muley. What was that? That is a big boy.
we are in the wind. We get to the top of the peak before sunset. as I thought it would be. There's some fresh snow on the edge there. There's some more right below me, but I don't care to lean over it to show you. the very last rays. We gotta go down to that false summit and then right on the other side of that is our tent. Well, down a ways beyond that. looking back at the peak we were just on top of as the sun dropped behind the horizon. Ran down ahead of Beth, partly so I could get photos, and partly because I'm really cold. It's fresh snow up behind here and we were up above that, and it is after sunset now. Pretty gorgeous, gorgeous view. We should be able to get a good bit of the way down here before it gets really too dark and we need a headlamp. So there we go. Definitely leveled out, so we've got to be almost back. You could not? No.
Hi folks, Ariel over here. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time watching these videos. Hopefully you found something beautiful, educational, interesting, peaceful, relaxing, or useful while you are here. If so, find more videos here, subscribe so you don't miss any updates, and if you like what you found here, feel free to like and share away so that others can benefit as well. You all have a wonderful day.